Good morning, everyone. Mass intentions for today, for Afghanistan, for good vocations to the priesthood and religious life, for Ivor Hellenberg on his birthday, for Anthony and Michelle Selmayer, Christian Jacobo, Clarencino Rabulan, Vincent Metham, and those recommended to our prayers for the repose of the souls of Barbara Mel, Conrada Limbo, the souls in purgatory, and for the reign of God's kingdom on earth. It's the feast of Saint Bartholomew. Proclaim the salvation of God day by day. Tell among the nations his glory. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, <coughs> to pray for me, to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Strengthen in us, O Lord, the faith by which the blessed Apostle Bartholomew clung wholeheartedly to your Son. Grant that, through the help of his prayers, your Church may become, for all the nations, the sacrament of salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> First reading, a reading from the book of Revelation. An angel spoke to me, saying, Come, I will show you the bride, the wife of the Lamb. And the Spirit 
And in the Spirit, he carried me away to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming out, coming down out of heaven from God, having the glory of God, its radiance like a most rare jewel, like a jasper, clear as crystal. It had a great high wall with twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and on the gates the names of the twelve tribes of the sons of Israel were inscribed. On the east three gates, on the north three gates, on the south three gates, and on the west three gates. And the wall of the city had twelve foundations, and on them the twelve names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your saints, O Lord, make known the glory of your reign. Your saints, O Lord, made known the glory of your reign. All your works shall thank you, O Lord, and all your faithful ones bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your mighty deeds. Your saints, O Lord, made known the glory of your reign. To make known your might to the children of men and the glorious splendor of your reign. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule endures for all generations. Your saints, O Lord, made known the glory of your reign. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his deeds. The Lord is close to all who call him, who call on him in truth. O Lord, make known the glory of your name. Alleluia. Alleluia. Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no guile. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You shall see greater things than these. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven opened, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A theme that runs through the Bible and is particularly highlighted in the New Testament 
is friendship. Of course, friendship with God, and in the New Testament, friendship with Jesus. But it's there in so many instances in the New Testament that it deserves our attention. The friendship between Jesus and Philip. Jesus invited him to follow him. The friendship between Philip and Nathaniel. Aka, Bartholomew, known as both. Their friendship allowed Philip to say, well, you don't mind and think much of people coming out of Nazareth, and nothing much good can come out of Nazareth. But come and see. Come and meet him. And the friendship then between Jesus and Nathaniel. Jesus who canonized him, as it were, praised him. Here is a man without guile, or in some other translations, here is one incapable of de deceit. What a tribute from innocence itself. The Lord without stain, without sin, recognizing the innocence, the integrity, the wholesomeness of Nathaniel. God's work, God's plan at work through human friendship. A human friendship which becomes a divine friendship. And so Nathaniel was captivated by Jesus. And it would seem that he had a habit of sitting under this particular fig tree. And it's suggested that's where he used to pray, that's where he used to be seen reading Torah. That was his, his private spot. Jesus knew that and built on that. So that Nathaniel was really and truly captivated by this holy person. He recognized from the goodness and innocence in himself, the goodness and innocence of Jesus. And so he gave his life to his Lord. He gave his life in service to the people, particularly of Armenia, where he planted the gospel and where he gave his life in sacrifice. Armenia becoming eventually the very first nation to adopt Christianity as its formal religion. But what is so attractive about this saint is how he embodies these levels of friendship, of innocence, of holiness. And Jesus promised him that he would see much greater things when the kingdom of heaven would be thrown open to him. And he would see the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. He would be rewarded with the fullness of life. We too approach the Lord in human ways. God uses human friendship to introduce us to divine friendship. And so with great confidence, we pray to Nathaniel Bartholomew to help us develop that gift so that we too would see the angels of God and live in the friendship of Father, Son, and Spirit. Saint Bartholomew, pray for us.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. So let us pray together that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we celebrate anew the feast day of Saint Bartholomew, O Lord, we pray that we may obtain your help through the intercession of the Apostle, in whose honour we bring you this sacrifice of praise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son, and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he. The hymn of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously 
make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Saviour Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the offering of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed Bartholomew and all the apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, Advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant Francis, our Pope, and Stephen, our Bishop, Sylvester, his auxiliary, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. 
Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. <coughs> Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. Through the power of the Spirit, we have the courage to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the kingdom of our hosts, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
The body of Christ. Amen. 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 <clears throat> I confer a kingdom on you, just as my Father has conferred one on me, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, says the Lord.
Let us pray. <clears throat> As we celebrate the feast day of the blessed Apostle Bartholomew, we have received the pledge of eternal salvation, O Lord, and we pray that it may be of help to us both now and for the life to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go and serve the Lord with our lives. Thanks.